Oh, G Funky Boxing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Erislandi Lara versus Michael Sarafa. Erislandi Lara gets a second round KO. Beautiful setup right here. Left hand right on the money. Sarafa gets up and uh, stumbles into the ropes, but he shook his head and said, no, he did not want to continue anymore. And man, that sniper-like left hand still has some good pop in it for Erislandi Lara. 41 years old. Still the WBA champion in the middleweight division. Um, you know, you got to give the guy credit for his longevity in this sport. Um, you know, he came over as a Cuban defect, um, you know, some years back. He was already in his, uh, you know, late 20s, early 30s, I, I think, uh, by the time he got here and turned professional. And look, he's always been a very tricky, crafty guy. We know the Cuban fighters, they can fight from the outside, counterpunch very well. Um, but he's always had good power in that left hand, and we we saw it tonight, still there, even at 41, and, um, you know, Zarafa, I don't know what the game plan was, really, he was just kind of walking right in, I shouldn't say walking, but he was really just kind of there for Lara to, to pick apart, um, just staying too patient, with guys like this, I feel like you have to just really be aggressive, man, and, you know, force the pace, force them to fight, because if you go out there and, and try to be patient with them, you, you know, you're playing right into their hand. You can't box with the boxer. <laughs> you know, you're always going to get beat. So, you know, lesson learned and hopefully you bounce back from that. Look, we'll see what Lada does here with the WBA strap. Uh, Charlo still has the WBC, WBO, IBF, belong to Johnny Beck. This middleweight division, not the best, but we'll see what happens, man. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. This is G Funky Boxing. I'm out.